Now, apparently the woman was on the train when she went into labor. She hopped off at L'Enfant Plaza. I was assisting customers on the upper platform when I noticed the commotion. It just happened to be in the best of luck that there was an emergency medical technician off duty on board that train uh, who was able to give assistance. Station manager saw Alpha called for an ambulance. He says the woman was behind an escalator moaning loudly. Everyone was offering any type of assistance they could, hand sanitizer. Uh, one customer gave his shirt right off his back and came out with her baby crying. And I was like, wow, and, you know, Everyone was just like, we can't believe this just happened. Right down there, somebody had a baby boy. Oh my, really? How much did it weigh? Eight pounds, five ounces. I lost their appreciation for, for women, you know, what they what they had to go through. Mom, 23-year-old Shavante Taylor did the hard work. What's the name going to be? I say you guys should name the baby Metro. <laughs> yeah. The hashtag Metro Baby Names trended on Twitter among the suggestions train delayed, Norm L service, Doris closing. Kidding aside, his name is Amir Mason. I've never seen anything like it, you know, baby being born, not even my own children. So I was like kind of nervous. I was really nervous, kind of scared. He's healthy and by the way, L'Enfant is French for the child. Outside the station, a brass band played. <laughs> Just a coincidence, but it seemed fitting. Everybody was like, hooray, we just shook hands. Cheering for a baby who will always know to stand to the right and walk to the left. In southwest Washington, Beth Parker, Fox 5 News.